Bodie Drake here from Drake Outdoor Adventures. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're canning tuna. Last week Jesse and I got a break from the kids. My mom and dad came into town and offered to stay and watch our kids for three days. Uh, it was a great opportunity for me and Jesse to get, get some time together to reconnect and enjoy the things we love doing. We love that blue water. So we went offshore and we caught some tuna one day. We went to the Florida Keys. Uh, we caught blackfin tuna and we caught one skipjack tuna. And we also spent some time lobster, and this was during the mini season. And we caught all our lobster, and it was a great time. And now we've caught enough tuna that we, we can't eat it all fresh, so we need uh, something, we need some way to preserve it. So uh, the best way I've found is canning. So we're going to can this tuna today, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, these are the things you're going to need to can tuna. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a pressure cooker. Uh, don't try this without a pressure cooker because you won't be able to sterilize your cans right, and you might wind up making some people sick. You need your, your tuna. Uh, I've got about a gallon bag full. You're going to need a baking dish. You're going to need some olive oil, some salt, um, and then some, uh, some cans uh, with fresh lids. These are pint jars. Make sure you've got fresh unused lids. You don't want to reuse these lids. They won't seal right. Um, that's really all you need to can tuna. Um, it's a, it's, it sounds like an intimidating task, uh, but it's not that difficult. It takes a little bit of time. Today, me and the kids are hanging around the house, just getting cleaned up, getting everything unloaded, and kind of getting back in a groove of things before the week starts. So it's a great day for me to do this. Um, some people like to season their, their cans with garlic and, and peppers and, and a lot of different stuff. Uh, I'm going to make these all plain, like plain canned tuna. And then whenever we open a jar and we decide to eat the tuna, we can season it then. We can put, put it in tuna salad, mix it with some pickles, uh, eggs, and, and mayonnaise, and have a tuna fish sandwich. Or, or whatever we want to do, put it in uh, tuna casserole, whatever we want to do, um, it's there and ready for us. Uh, and it's not uh, seasoned the wrong way before we get started. Last year I tried this and I tried to uh, add some soy sauce and wasabi to, to one can and, and uh, a lot of different things and, and uh, they were interesting. Um, I also found last year that if you cook the tuna in the can, there, you can certainly do that. The cans look a little less appealing so we're baking the tuna first uh, today. Uh, um, and that should cut down on some of the uh, little pieces floating around in the cans. So, uh, welcome to the kitchen. Let's get started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break out about 10 of these uh, black tuna loins. Uh, so here's one. A belly loin. Two. Three. Now whenever you catch your tuna, it's real important uh, to start taking care of them as soon as you catch them because they're a real bloody fish and they can turn bad if you don't watch it. So what you want to do is as soon as you catch him, you get him on the boat, take your pictures if you're going to take pictures, and then you want to bleed him out. Um, I slit their throat to bleed them out. Some people uh, slit their pec fins uh, and um, slit right behind their tail. Um, I've done that too, but I think slitting their throat uh, right through the gills really does get all the blood out. And then you want to get him cold quick. So I use the chill kill method where I slit their throat and I put them in a, in a, in a bucket that's got some salt water in it and a lot of ice, it's really cold. And I stick all my fish in there while I'm out there fishing. They go in there and they bleed out there and they get really cold really fast. Um, and I'll leave them in there for about an hour, no more than an hour. And then we take them out of that and put them in some clean ice. Uh, and that's where they're stored until we clean them. And then another thing I learned from a, a, a gentleman down in the Keys is you're not, you don't ever want to uh, rinse your tuna fillets with fresh water. So while you're out there in that real pretty clean blue water, you want to get a five gallon bucket full of that water and put a lid on it and take it back, take it back to the hill with you. And then when you get there and you clean your fish, um, throw some ice in that, in that, that uh, clean blue water and then you'll take your fillets out, you'll clean them, you'll debone them. Uh, you'll cut out all the red meat and you slide them in that salt water and that'll rinse them off uh, but it doesn't discolor them. If you start taking your tuna fillets and you rinse them with fresh water, they'll get mushy around the edges. Um, and that's really the only thing you can do with that mushy meat is, is can it. You're not going to want to use that for sushi or, or, or grilling or anything. So this is a baking pan full of uh, tuna loins. I'm going to stick this in the oven at 350 for an hour. I'll see you guys when it comes out. All 
Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes and this tuna looks done. We're going to go ahead and pull it out. I'm going to let you guys take a peek at it. Reef's in there talking to us. Oh, yeah. There it is right there. You can see this uh, oil and stuff and, and, and fat that's come out of the, the tuna right here. Um, this stuff right here is the stuff that was floating around in the can that made it look unappetizing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let this cool off. We're gonna let it and firm up, and then we're gonna make sure this stuff doesn't go into the cans this time. This stuff smells pretty good. Okay, these tuna fillets have chilled in the refrigerator. I've taken them out, and uh, they're cool to the touch. Now I'm just gonna rinse. I'm gonna just gonna rinse this this stuff off of them. Man. That's Reef in there dancing. One day you'll be doing this all on your own. Yeah? You call me over for supper. Alright. Now these tuna fillets are nice and rinsed off. And uh, they're looking really nice. Now Timber's going to help Timber's gonna help me get this stuff in the cans. Timber and Reef. Okay, scoot over a little bit. Daddy's come in. All right. Thank you. Daddy's come in to help. Are you ready to put some tuna in some cans? Yes. All right. Yes, sir? Yes. All right. There you go. Let's get it. Break it in little bitty pieces. Put it in there. Now these cans already have a quarter fill with water. They've got salt, a teaspoon of salt per can and two tablespoons of olive oil. So we're just gonna push, put this tuna in and then we're gonna pack it in, mash it down. And, to, and Timber's really good at this. I like to leave my tuna in fairly big chunks so it doesn't remind me of um, store-bought canned tuna too much. Yeah. Timber, help daddy. Help daddy. You like the way it looks, Reef? Yeah. Help daddy. You didn't break that piece. Okay. Let's smash it in. Yep, Let's smash it in. We're packing it. My pack it. My it up. Are you packing it in? You talking to the camera? Yes. It's my alpaca. Can you wave at the camera? Say hi. All right, so um, once you get it packed in pretty close to the neck. Go ahead, pack it in. If you need a little bit. If you need a little bit more water to top this up to the neck, you can just add a little bit of water. So we'll add a little bit of water to this one. This one's all done. Now I'm labeling these I'm labeling these cans with the uh, with what's in them. It's tuna and today's date. That way we can reference these do and we can make sure one. we're eating do that. fresh food. Oh, do that one. All right. So me and Timber just got these uh, first this first bacon sheet all packed up. So this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet. It's all emptied out now, and that fit in three pint-sized jars. So um, I'm gonna need to get. A whole nother pan of this and just a little bit more to fill up seven, which is going to be one batch in my pressure cooker. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bake some more tuna and then we'll repack those cans and then we'll get this, this pressure cooker in and going. You like eating that tuna, Timber? Is it nami nami nami? Yeah. Who caught that? Um, Daddy. Yeah, and? Um, mommy. Mommy! Mommy's at work today, isn't she? Good. Now we got our cans all packed up, looking good. Now we're going to stick them in the in the can of the pressure cooker. Stick yours in there. Okay, let's get the other ones. Daddy's going to stick his in. Timmy's going to stick. Whoa! Oh, don't throw it. The glass, darling. He's going to stick it in. Okay. 
Daddy learned his lesson last time. It's a bar. <clears throat> That's a okay. bar. Yeah, those are already done. So we've only got five more. So we're going to stick these in. Get that thing boiling. Then we'll have canned tuna in about, uh, say, an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, so we got a good amount of steam coming out of the pressure cooker. We're going to set it to pressurize and we're going to set our timer for an hour and 30 minutes. And get it started. All right, we've turned off the burner. We've let this thing sit here for about uh, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. Uh, and I just vented it. So she's all vented out. We're going to take a look at tuna. Don't touch it. It's hot. Don't touch it. Pop the lid on this thing. Woo, look at that steam. Mmm, smells good, doesn't it? All right, so those tuna cans are done. Okay. Okay, so that wraps up a day's worth of canning. That's, uh, I got 12 cans, pint jars of, uh, of tuna. Mom. Yeah. And that was uh, 10 blackfin tuna and one uh, skipjack tuna. So um, a little under one fish per can fit in there. We packed them in real tight. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around and watching this video all the way to the end. Um, I'm glad you guys can find some value out of this. Uh, me and Timber have had a great time canning tuna today, haven't we? You like canning tuna? <laughs> Did you eat a bunch of tuna today? Yeah. 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 So we've had a great time. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank, uh, if you guys haven't done it yet, uh, click on the link over here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm looking to try to get over a thousand subscribers here in the next couple weeks. You can help me out by clicking on that button. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. Maybe you'll find something useful in them. Drop a comment below this video if you wanna uh, want me to see if you want to see me do anything else. And we look forward to seeing you guys out there. Bye bye. Way bye bye, Timber. <laughs>